So, one species said that I was a dickhead. I mean, I really don't, I don't get that because, I mean, we've really, we've gotten along so well. You know, I, I, I participated in I Am Me Month and, and, and I loved all of his stuff. I have no problem with him. I don't understand it, but he sends me this, uh, he sends me this video saying that I'm a, no, he tagged me with the, you might be a dickhead tag which is different. Okay, apparently what I have to do is uh, come up with two examples of why one person, any person, let's just say for example you, since you're kind enough to watch this video, might be a dickhead. And I'm supposed to come up with a serious one and a humorous one. So here we go. You might be a dickhead if Ah! You might be a dickhead if you love God more than you love your wife. That's the serious one. No, no. Let me rephrase. You might be a dickhead if you say that you love God more than you love your wife because you're expected to because of the teachings of your church. Is that, is that too specific? I'm not... Okay, but that's, that's the serious one some vague sort of thing in the area of those two that I just said. Okay, that's the serious one. Uh, the humorous one. Oh, perfect. If you refused to even see the new version of True Grit because you like the John Wayne version, you might be a dickhead because uh, watching the new version doesn't erase the old version. So, okay, that's my humorous one. Uh, now I have to tag somebody else. I will tag uh, Precambrian Lullaby and Firefly 4F4. You are tagged in the You Might Be a Dickhead meme. I would tag the Felt Be Gone, Harold, one of my favorite YouTubers in the whole world, but uh, you specifically asked not to be tagged, so I will respect your wish, Harold, and not tag you. Um, is that it? Just the two? I can only do two? Because, like, now that I'm done, I, I, I have all of these other ones. I don't know if they're, if they're humorous or if they're serious or what, but I'd, I'd have all of these popping out of my head. And what, I'm only supposed to do two? That... No, you know what? Fuck that. Because, I, what? I'm 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 some kind of a slave to the tags. Be, I, I'm because some other guy that I don't even know made up the rules, and then I was brought into this by somebody else against my will. I'm supposed to just abide by their guidelines? No, fuck that. You might be a dickhead if you don't like black and white movies. You might be a dickhead if you think this guy is funnier than this guy. You might be a dickhead if you drive a Hummer. You might be a dickhead by proxy if you don't think that people who drive Hummers are dickheads. You might be a dickhead if you've ever put a cat in a full Nelson. She's fine. You might be a dickhead if you think that people expressing disagreement with your religious beliefs or political opinions is a form of persecution. You might be a dickhead if you made this video titled Shiloh Forgot Me, whether it was real or not. You might be a dickhead if you think that racism isn't a problem in America anymore. You might be a dickhead if you think that black civil rights and gay rights are not the exact same issue. You might be a dickhead if you just couldn't get into the Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies because he didn't have the mechanical web shooters. What's with this? What's with this? You might be a dickhead if you think that Dean Cain was a shitty Superman. I think he did okay. You might be a dickhead if you've never even seen a single episode of MacGyver. I'm sorry, Dave, but seriously. You might be a dickhead if you used to make fun of a guy who had a degenerative muscle disorder and you're still not sorry about it, even though he died. Needed more coffee.
You might be a dickhead if you think that the perceived media mistreatment of presidential candidates like Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman is a reason to vote for them. You might be a dickhead if you've ever walked around in public with the collar on your shirt turned up and you weren't making fun of somebody. You might be a dickhead if you've ever worn your ball cap like this. You might be a dickhead if you've ever worn one of those leather gauntlet things on your wrist. What the fuck is the deal with that? You might be a dickhead if you've ever stood next to me at a men's room urinal and said, Ooh, I've got to race like a pee horse. Twice, even though I didn't laugh the first time. You might be a dickhead if you think chewing on some bark or drinking some magic ionized water is better for you than taking an aspirin. You might be a dickhead if you find this guy more persuasive than this guy. You might be a dickhead if you think there's even a tiny possibility that CM Punk's promo at the end of Raw the other night was a shoot. You might be a dickhead if you have a problem with the fact that I just made a pro wrestling reference. Fuck you, I can watch what I want. You might be a dickhead if you're jealous of my Patrick Swayze mug, but then again, I couldn't really blame you. You might be a dickhead if you haven't subscribed to my awesome YouTube channel, which I work really hard on. You might be a dickhead if your name is Jonathan Quigley and I had you in creative writing class with Professor Tinkler. I'm saying might. I don't even know the guy that well. You might be a dickhead if you haven't liked Neon Real Entertainment's Facebook page yet. You might be a dickhead if you return an overdue library book and try to weasel out of paying the 40 cent late fee. You might be a dickhead if you think of At Last as a Christina Aguilera song. You might be a dickhead if you like to tell people that you like every kind of music, except jazz and blues. You might be a dickhead if you think Dennis Miller is funny and Bill Maher ain't. No, let me revise. You might be a dickhead if you think Dennis Miller is funny. I'm not arguing that Dennis Miller has never been funny in the past. I'm talking about right now. You might be a dickhead if you've ever made fun of somebody for liking that Superman song by Five for Fighting. You might be a dickhead if you hate country music, but you've never even listened to anything by Hank Williams or Johnny Cash or Waylon Jennings or Willie Nelson. You might be a dickhead if you think Dances with Wolves seriously deserved all those Oscars. I'm sorry, I know it's been like over 20 years, but that was bullshit! Or Graham Parson, or Dwight Yoakam, or Emmy Lou Harris, or Steve Earle. You might be a dickhead if you ever ask me to choose between Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. I won't do it! Or Loretta Lynn, or Hank Williams III, or Hayes Carl. You might be a dickhead if you're a white person and you think that Chris Rock's comedy routine a few years ago where he said there's a difference between black people and niggers means that you can say nigger whenever you want. I wasn't really saying it, I was citing an example. Or Robbie Fulks, or early Wilco, or early Nico Case. You might be a dickhead if you talk on your fucking cell phone while you're out in public. Even if you have a Bluetooth earpiece, yes. In fact, the Bluetooth makes you even more of a dickhead. Or Chris Christopherson. You might be a dickhead if it hasn't occurred to you yet that this whole thing is just a ripoff of an old Jeff Foxworthy routine. If I had to, I would choose Buster Keaton. I can't stand to fly. I'm not that naive. I'm just out to find the better part of me. I'm more than a bird. I'm more than a plane. More than some pretty face is not a dream. It's not easy to be here.